Hi, this is Mel from Mesa, Arizona. And um, today I want to do a little video on uh, Jabba de Cava. I've got seven different varieties of Jabba de Cava trees right at the present time. I've got the blue Jabba de Cava. I've got the grandma. I've got the yellow Jabba de Cava. I've got the pingo de male. i got the sabra in the ground. It's about seven, uh, six foot tall. I've um, got several different uh, varieties of the Jabba de Cava, and I really like the Jabba de Cava. And a friend of mine, I was over at his house to, Today and he gave me um, several different fruits so that I could actually try the fruit because mine haven't mine are actually smaller trees and so they're not real big trees so they haven't actually tasted the fruit yet. Well, I, I tasted the fruit of the sabra before, and he gave me some more sabra today, so I was going to do a taste testing so that you could uh, see what they taste like. Now the skin is kind of thick and has more of a tart taste, so usually I don't eat the skin. And they either have a, uh, either one or uh, two seeds in. Looks like this one had two seeds in it. And so I, I'm saving these seeds so I can plant more Jabuticaba. I'd like to get to the point where I have, you know, uh, maybe a hundred Jabuticabas growing in my house at all times. And then I take the Sabra, because the Sabra has a better root stock, and I, it'll tolerate our alkaline soils a little bit better. I plant all my Sabra Jabuticabas and all my uh, other Jabuticabas on the east side of my house, because on the east side of the house I add a lot of sulfur to the ground. In uh, my area, the, the ground, the pH of the soil is about 7.5 to 8.5, and, and Sabra and all the rest of the Jabuticabas want a pH of about five and a half to six and a half. So by adding the sulfur to the ground, I've gotten it down underneath six and a half uh, pH in my soil here. And I have to check that monthly so that we can get that, uh, keep that pH down so that the trees will be able to absorb the nutrients better. Because if the pH isn't in the right area, they can't absorb the nutrients, even if it, no matter how much fertilizer you add, they can't uh, absorb that nutrients. But, um, when you uh, cut the fruit open, I'm just trying to show you a little bit here. Uh, it looks like this right here. It's kind of a, a white colored in the inside, and uh, it has the seeds inside there. Uh, I really like the fruit a lot, uh, and uh, we made some Jabba de Cava jam once. The Jabba de Cava jam is my is my wife's favorite jam. It uh, really tastes good. It's uh, got a different flavor than any other jam you've ever tasted. So, there's different companies online that you can order Jabba de Cava jam from. Take these seeds out, and uh, so if you can order some Jabba de Cava jam just to try it, it's really good to try the Jabba de Cava jam. Uh, if you haven't ever had a Jabba de Cava tree, they grow the, uh, the grapes are grown more on the trunk of the trees, so they don't grow on the ends of the branches. Now the, the blue Jabba de Cava and the yellow Jabba de Cava, uh, they call the blue Jabba de Cava a false Jabba de Cava because it actually grows the, the fruit on the, more of the tips of the branches instead of the trunk and the larger branches of the tree. But the rest of the Jabba de Cava uh, grow them on the, on the trunk of the tree. And that's why they call them coliflora, that's what it means. It, Close the fruit on the trunk of the tree. But if, uh, if you have any questions about Jabba de Cava, uh, I do have a Facebook page, Mesa Jabba de Cava Trees, and uh, you can go on there and it uh, talks about people from all over the world and their experience with different types of Jabba de Cava trees. And uh, if you put in the comments where you're uh, calling from, because that helps us know what kind of soil pHs you have in your areas, some people I have to tell them to add uh, sulfur to the ground to, to bring the pH down. But other areas like Brazil, they have to bring their pH up. So they have to add different chemicals to it to bring the pH up to keep, keep it between that five and a half pH to six and a half pH. Um, but if, uh, if you like these videos and like to hear more about tropical trees and that, go ahead and hit uh, the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, it'll notify you when we do other videos. Well, thank you for watching today and have a great day.